Hey, what is up YouTube? Lando Tech here, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to install STBMU on your Fire TV stick. STBMU is a great reliable IPTV player, and it's the go-to choice if your IPTV provider provides you with a stalker URL. That's a URL that looks like this. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to install and set up STBMU. All I ask in return is for you to hit that like button and subscribe to see more content like this. Before we begin, I must say that this is for educational purposes only. And when you're using STBMU, ensure that you're using it with legitimate IPTV providers. And in case you're wondering, yes, the STBMU app is completely legitimate. It's even available in the Google Play Store. It's just not available in the Amazon App Store. But no worries, I'll show you how to sideload it. To start, we'll first need to turn on dev mode so that we can sideload apps. To do that, go to the last icon on the right. Then move down and select Fire TV. Click about. Then click your Fire TV stick name seven times until it says you are already a developer. Now press the home button to go back to the home screen. From the home screen, move over to the find tab. Then go down to the App Store and click it. Next, go down and over to the Search tab and search for Downloader. Click it, then click Download. This app is used to sideload apps that aren't available in the regular Amazon App Store. When the installation is complete, open it. Click Allow, then click OK. In the search box, type the following code. 9296200 and click go. STBMU will start downloading. When the download is complete, click settings. Click install unknown apps. Click downloader to turn it on. Click back and back again. Now click install and install again. Click Done. Click Delete and Delete again. Press the Home button. Go to the far right side, then go down to My Apps. Now look for STBMU and click it. Click Configure Applications. Click Profile. Scroll down and click your existing profile name. Click Portal Settings. Click Portal URL. Then remove the default portal URL and type the URL that your IPTV provider gave you. Then click OK. Now click the back arrow. Go down to STB Configuration. Go to MAC address. Make note of it and provide it to your service provider. Your service provider will use your MAC address to enable your service. Once it's enabled, you'll need to exit STBMU and relaunch it. To do that, click the Settings button on your remote. Then, scroll down and click Exit. Now, when you relaunch it, you'll have full access to your IPTV services. STBMU is great, but as I mentioned earlier, you will need a provider. And that provider is not going to give you the service for free. However, I do have a way that you can get over 100 IPTV channels for free. To find out how, watch this video right here. 